Activity 6. Sketching by hand. This activity is part of Unit 3, Properties of Quadratic Relations. Sketching by hand. In previous activities, we have used technology to graph quadratic equations. We have explored various transformations of the parabola, y equals x squared, as the effects of a, h, and k in the quadratic relation y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. In this activity, we will learn to sketch a parabola by hand, given the equation in the vertex form. Recall this is the vertex form y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. We're going to sketch by hand the quadratic relation y equals 2 times x plus 7 squared minus 3. Our first step is to graph y equals x squared. y equals x squared is the starting point for all of our sketching by hand. So we've set up a table of values to help us graph y equals x squared. When x is equal to negative 2, that's negative 2 squared is equal to 4. So when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 4. So our next one is negative 1. So when x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to negative 1 squared, which is 1. When x is equal to 0, 0 squared is equal to 0. When x is equal to 1, 1 squared is equal to 1. And when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. So our points are negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, comma 1, and 2, comma 4. Let's plot these points. Negative 2, 4 is here. Negative 1, 1 is here. 0, 0 is here. 1, 1 and 2, 4. And here's our parabola for y equals x squared. Our second step is to determine the values of a, h, and k for the given equation. Let's have a look. Here's our a. a is equal to 2. Here is our h. h is equal to negative 7. Recall, whatever our number is here, we take the opposite sign. So if it's a positive 7, our h is a negative 7. Our k is negative 3. Our third step is to apply the transformations in this order. 1. We're going to do the vertical stretch or compression. Here's our vertical stretch or compression. A is equal to 2. This is going to be a stretch. It's going to make the parabola much skinnier and the climbing towards infinity will happen much faster. So, we'll look at our new y coordinate. Our y coordinates now will be A times y. So y is equal to 2x squared. So 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 0 is still 0. 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times 4 is 8. So now where the point used to be negative 2, 4, 
Now it's going to be negative 2, 8. Where it was once negative 1, 1, it will become negative 1, 2. And so on. Notice that the y values are doubling. So let's plot our points now. Negative 2, 8, negative 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, and 2, 8. Notice the new parabola is much skinnier. It climbs faster. Now we'll do the translations. We'll take our x coordinate and we'll add h. So our x coordinate plus h. Our h is negative 7, so we'll do x minus 7. Negative 2 minus 7, 7 is negative 9. Negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8. 0 minus 7 is negative 7. 1 minus 7 is negative 6. And 2 minus 7 is negative 5. So we've taken our x values for each coordinate and subtracted 7. This is translating our parabola. So now our points, our new x values, will become negative 9, 8, negative 8, 2, negative 7, 0, negative 6, 2, and negative 5, 8. So we'll plot these new points. Negative 9, 8, negative 8, 2, negative 7, 0, negative 6, 2, and negative 5, 8. So we see that the problem moves to the left. Now we need to do the other translation. The vertical translation, or k, is applied to the y. It's applied to the y because the parabola will travel either up or down, which is along the y-axis. So we'll take our y-coordinates and add k. y minus 3. That'll be 8 minus 3 for our first point, which is equal to 5. 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. 0 minus 3, which is negative 3. 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. And 8 minus 3, which is 5. So we've taken our y values for each coordinate and added k. And in this case, k is a negative 3. So now, let's update our points. Our new points now, we'll update them with our new y values. So it's negative 9, 5. Negative 8, negative 1. Negative 7, negative 3. Negative 6, negative 1. And negative 5, 5 and we'll plot our new points. Negative 7, negative 3, negative 6, negative 1, and the final point, negative 5, 5. So we see that our parabola translates or shifts downwards because k is negative 3. So, we've now done all the transformations to y equals x squared that will allow us, or that will represent, 
our given quadratic relation, y equals 2 times x plus 7 squared minus 3.